All right, guys and gals, as you know, we've been doing all of these uh, tween lessons for quite a while. We've had seven different lessons on tweening. Now we come to the project that in, involves um, all the tween stuff. You can put this project together as, as best you can. Uh, it's called the Showcase Movie. Got it posted here on Schoology. The only things that are there are the uh, handout that has the requirements and then the link for turning it in. I'm going to hop over here to the handout here for a minute and just run you through this real quickly. Um, you've got to create an animate movie, use Adobe Animate, that would showcase an event or a cause or a production or a group or a team or a person or something like that. Now to showcase something is to try and put it in a positive light, to make it look good, to make it interesting, to make some somebody like it or be interested in it or think it's cool or something like that. You got a lot of directions you could go. You could do something that is historical like 9-11 or Pearl Harbor or Veterans Day and that is like paying tribute to somebody or something um, where you're saying we should always remember this. You should always, you could also do something that is like what I call socially aware, like cancer awareness or autism or animal protection. There are a million causes out there that people feel strongly about. And you could do a movie that showcases a cause and tries to make people aware of it and, and shows how important you think it is. You could do something athletic that features or showcases a team or a player um, or a tournament or a championship or something like that. So you could go an athletic route you could also go an entertainment route where you you are showcasing a television show or a movie or a concert or a YouTuber, uh, but something in the entertainment field and you're trying to show how great it is or how cool it is. Um, so yeah, and those that's not the that's those aren't the only four things you could do, but th there's some ideas for you to think about. Now here are the requirements. Um, this movie has to be at least 20 seconds long. It's got to include at least five photos. You could have more than that if you want, but you gotta have at least five. You gotta include some text. I wanted to have an ending. Um, uh, like at the very end of it, when you get done, don't just like bring it to a screeching halt. Um, make it end somehow, make, do a fade out, have some kind of closing text, bring the show to a close, find a way to do it. And then it's gotta have some polish. Polish just means a little effort to try and make it look good. Don't be sloppy with it. Don't act like you don't care uh, because you'll lose points. Um, so try to have some polish to it. And all, again, all I mean by polish is try to make it look nice. Try to make it look good. Here's your point breakdown. The, the time requirement is 30 points. So make sure you do have at least 20 seconds of content. Five photos is worth 20 points. The text is worth 10. The ending is worth five, have an ending. The polish score is 10 points, so trying to make it look good, total of 75. Save your work and turn it in like always. Gonna show you a couple of examples. This first one is uh, based on, it's about Apollo 11, the first moon landing that happened. Uh, the, the 50th anniversary was the, of this was just over this summer. So it was 50 years ago that this crew went to the moon and landed for the first time. So I've got, these pictures of the crew, and I do have some text in there, and this is kind of showcasing that first landing. At the end, I put this, we came in peace for all mankind. Uh, that was on a plaque that they left um, on the moon, and then this little celebrating 50 years, 1969 to 2019. So on, on this one, I have like nine different scenes. I used the trick that we talked about on Friday, using the scene panel, and I built this movie by doing different scenes and then stringing them together so that I could watch them. And so my movie is about Apollo 11. Now, if you're gonna use scenes like I did here, then you kind of have to make sure that, that all of your scenes add up to be 20 seconds. You can look at the timeline for every scene and look how long they are and then just do a little simple math and add all the, the length of all your scenes up and make sure you got 20 seconds worth of content. Here's another example. This one is about the painter Vincent Van Gogh. I'm not a big painting expert, but I put together a pretty quick example of how you could do one 
you know, about different kinds of topics. I'm going to click a little button up here to clip that to the stage. All right, so this just has some of his paintings, and I've got painting and text on each one, right? And the paintings are animated a little bit. They kind of zoom in, zoom out, move across the stage, things like that. Um, and so it's just kind of another example of a different way you could go. This one is uh, about an artist and about his paintings. And at the end, it says, celebrate the work of the masters, and it fades away, and there it is. Now, I do want to show you another version of that. Sometimes you have to be aware of how you animate things. This is, once again, the Vincent Van Gogh movie that I just showed you, but animated very different, differently and animated very badly, as far as I am concerned. Um, and, and so you should avoid this kind of thing. I'm showing you something to avoid right here. If I run this, this text is spinning and spinning and spinning, and really it's a little bit hard to read. And this, this picture, I'm going to use that little button there to clip that again. This isn't a good way to animate pictures of an artist if what you're wanting people to do is be able to see the picture. They're spinning, they're bouncing, they're running all over the place. And so, yeah, and that's small, right? You can't hardly even see that. And this picture runs off the stage most of the time. You would be surprised how many times, and that's tiny, you would be surprised how many times I get stuff like this turned in. That people just don't even kind of keep in mind a good way to animate something. If you want, in this example, if I wanted people to be able to look at the picture, then it should be animated all crazy. Right? So you have to kind of keep that kind of thing in mind. If you want your audience to be able to see something, then don't spin it a million times and don't run it all over the place because that's probably just not going to work all that well. Now, this project that we're working on, whatever topic you pick and you work to put it together, it's going to be a two-day thing. You're going to start today. Um, if you get it done, okay, great. Turn, uh, make sure you save your work and turn it in. If you don't get it done today, there will be time to work tomorrow, and I will be back as quickly as I can.